Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our monthly newsletter video. And for September, I figured we could just get right into it. The first update we actually have, and I'm very excited to announce this, is we've officially signed our contract with Histologics, which is a UK-based firm. They're also connected with our tissue supplier, and they will be helping us to carry out our histology study. And it's a very important study because it's not only going to be providing data for our researchers in Italy for our human trials, but it's also can kind of help to lay the groundwork for the next steps or well, future research, which will be actually bioprinting of foreskin. So being able to make our procedure available on a much larger scale and in many more locations as well. So there's two very important components there that this histology study is going to provide for us. And even just kind of beyond Forgen's research, you know, an important part of this too is that we're kind of following up on a study that was conducted about 25 years ago with uh, Taylor et al. in 1996. And obviously, you know, our, there's obviously been a lot of technology that's developed since then and techniques that we can use to help us quantify the different cell types, analyze the different structures, and really provide kind of a much more a modern update on this kind of work. And that's obviously going to be important, not only just for our own research, but even just the movement in general and being able to demonstrate to people, you know, why the foreskin is so important and that why it's something that it shouldn't just be cast aside or ignored or just viewed as something that's useless. Um, and obviously this, you know, we know that already, but having these, uh, having this data is really going to help to bolster that argument. And that kind of brings us into our next update for the month. There's actually here an article it was published in Discover Magazine. I think it was just a few months ago, actually. But it caught our attention, and, and not for a uh, good reason, unfortunately. But it was basically, well, the title here you can see is Why Human Foreskin is a Hot Commodity in Science. And really, the, the problem here is that it just, there was completely, it just omitted any kind of ethical consideration as to why using neonatal foreskin tissue in research is so unethical. It's essentially, you're, you're not even essentially, but you're stealing tissue from an infant. You can't get their consent for this. And obviously that's a problem if they're then doing work based off of this. So, you know, to us, and, and also, and just ignored too, the functions that the foreskin provides. You know, there's obviously a reason why it's there. So our senior writer, Ryan Jones, actually put together a letter to the editor and he sent it off to them kind of outlining our concerns and, and you know, of course, talking about our research and just, you know, why the foreskin is important in general and the ethical considerations here. And at least as of the making of this video, we haven't had a response from them, but we did actually publish our, uh, well, Ryan's letter on our website that you can actually go on commentarium and you can read yourself and kind of see some of the arguments that we broke down there. And lastly, this month, we actually have uh, more great news as well. We actually reached our, well, and surpassed our $20,000 goal that we have for the month the third time this year. So we actually reached $23,451 in August in total. And of course, we have another very generous cryptocurrency donor to thank for this, who donated $10,000. And then we also had another more than 20 new donors who signed up that um, it was a total of $500 in recurring donations. So really, you know, all the people who've, who signed up as donors, whether they're one-time, recurring, whatever you've contributed, you've really helped to bring this project where it is. You know, you've helped, of course, pay for previous research, the current animal trials that we're doing, as well as the histology study. So the donations you've contributed have made all of that possible. So everyone, of course, I speak for myself, and of course, everyone at Forgen, we're very grateful for the support that you've shown us. And that pretty much wraps up the newsletter video for this month, but I will see all of you next time in October. Take care, everyone.